In 1968, Garrett Hardin warned the world of the risks of the tragedy of the commons. His lessons are even more relevant today. He asked us to imagine living in a small pastoral community where you share some grazing land and a herd of cows with other people. Now, while this community has lived in balance for generations, what if you suddenly realize that if you put an extra cow on the land, you'll have more wealth? And you think, it's no big deal, it's just one cow, no one will notice. But what's keeping everyone from doing the same thing? One cow here, one cow there. Everyone is trying to do what they think is best for themselves while believing that their little bit doesn't matter. So follow the logic. Eventually, there will be so many cows that they will consume all of the grazing land and the ecosystem will collapse. Unfortunately, in a finite world, this is all too common. It's easy to imagine that our little bit doesn't matter, but individual actions add up in whatever we do. In fact, every resource used or disposed of can add up very quickly. Think of all of our shared commons, from parks and fisheries to beaches and the atmosphere. Now, imagine dropping a candy wrapper, eating some tuna, or purchasing a plastic water bottle. You can see the impact we make. Now, imagine planting a garden, reusing a cloth bag, or even smiling at a stranger. Everything adds up, the negatives, and the positives, the big and the small. Rather than assuming that no one will notice our small actions or lack thereof, it makes a world of difference to recognize the impact that each of our actions has on the collective whole. So I propose we create a positive spiral up, flowing into a triumph of the commons. Yes, that will require some change. We'll have to reconnect with each other and reclaim the commons, but there are lots of benefits too. Such a shift could honor the individual, but also embrace the larger community. What difference would it make if we realized that not only are we accountable for all of our actions, but that we truly do matter and are needed and that we are all interdependent? Really, instead of getting bogged down in cynicism and apathy, we could begin to envision the steps needed to fuel the spiraling up of positive individual and societal actions, leading toward a better world. Whether we're making more conscious choices in the products we consume, educating ourselves about the world, volunteering in our communities, or finding joy in nature and each other, we all start becoming part of the solution. Through such a process together, can you see how we can achieve a triumph of the commons? I believe that's a world worth dreaming about.